Hey guys, sorry I haven't been uh, posting videos for the last couple of days. Uh, I'm just going to go through and show you and tell you what happened. Um, so I made Brandon's bosses and friends at work some banana nut bread. And then um, the next day, which was Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday my sister went into labor at 8 o'clock p.m. She went to the hospital with sharp pains at like 8 o'clock. And then she went to the hospital. They admitted her around, I think, 12 is when my mom called me. And I went there the next day about 10 o'clock and sat in the room with her and stuff. Baby was not, like, progressing that much. So, And I was going to be in the room when he was born. But I left, and then by the time they were like, it's ready, it's time to push, I had no time to get there. Baby was out in like 10 minutes, like no joke. Um, and then after he was born and I got finally got to the hospital, I walked into the hospital, or into her room, put your mics on my hands, walked up to the bed, and was like, fixing to like you know touch the baby or whatever and we heard this like puking sound because Josh was in the bathroom so we heard this like puking sound and then like a loud bang and the nurses like looked at us and was like is he okay and so we we're like I don't know so my mom walked up to the door and Donna was like open it open it open it which is my sister and he was having a seizure on the floor all I could really see was his feet and they were just like shaking and it was so scary and not to mention like Chrissy's husband is has been in the hospital from a seizure which is like super weird because like we know each other even though we live in different states and then like right after another I don't know anyways so I've never seen so many nurses run into a room in my life um, they brought a wheelchair but they couldn't get him on the wheelchair or something. So then they brought in a gurney and they got him up there. And then we like left the room and walked into like the hall because he's going to go to the ER. And I was going with him so he wasn't by himself. And like I was walk like right next to the bed and he just kept he, like he looked at me and was just like, like looking at me like I was like the devil or something. Like who the heck are you? You know, I don't know. So we made it to the ER and we made it into the room that they were going to put him in. And I was sitting next to him and the doctor and another doctor was like being told what was going on or whatever. And so, um, so the doctor was sitting next to me and then Josh like just snapped back to like reality and he's like looking around like, where am I? What happened? And I was like, you had a seizure and he was like, what? No, I didn't. And I was like, yes, you did. He's like, where? When? We were like, when Donna, after Donna had the baby, like, he was so confused. And he told the doctor and told me that the last thing, he remembers everything up until the baby being born, but he didn't remember seeing the baby's face. So, he ended up staying there. Sorry if you hear Kinsley. I'm trying to, like, make a video for you guys. But he ended up staying in the ER. I sat there for a minute. And then Brandon works. Brandon works like right down the street from the hospital. So Brandon like got off work and stuff. And he came up there. And he sat with me. And then we were like, okay, we've got to go home. So we went all the way back to labor and delivery to get my sister's phone. To go all the way back to my brother-in-law. So he could have something to like keep him occupied. Oh, you're being loud. And then we went home. I had the biggest migraine ever. I couldn't even put Kinsley to bed. I was like, Brennan, you're just going to have to, I got to go to sleep. So I went to sleep and then woke up and was like, it's baby asleep. And he was like, yeah, I was like, I'm sorry. I had like the worst headache. He's like, well, do you still have a headache? And I was like, no, it's gone. And then I went back to sleep. Now here we are. <laughs> Today's Friday. We are going out of town, which that is going to be a separate vlog, but we are going to go out of town. I've just been cleaning the last week, organizing and stuff, you know, because we've already had two Christmases. 
So I've just been trying to get everything in order and straightened up and clean and nice for when we come home. I've just kind of been picking up and getting the house clean. But anyways. So I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye guys. It looks like you're having some what's called early T cells, which is good, meaning that baby's head is getting nice and squished, meaning baby's going to come down. You want to push it once, right? And then it's... No, I think you can push it. It depends how they set it, but I thought you could push it like every 10 minutes. I don't know. Once. Donna's got a peanut bowl. <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling? Tired. Mom's on her phone. Josh's doing whatever. Smirking about something. <laughs> Waiting on this baby to hurry up. Hurry up, Quentin. Quentin. Yeah, we, he, we left the house at 10 o'clock for him. Yesterday? Last night, yeah. And now look at us. What time did you guys call me? It was like. It was there at 9. Huh? They admitted you around 9 to 10 last night. Yeah. So we left the house earlier than that. Um, We've just been here forever. Normally, we get here and then within four hours, the baby's here. Donna's a six. How, what percentage of face are you? Uh, How much a face are you? I don't know what that means. Usually they say you're six centimeters dilated and you're like 80% a face or 50% a face. Then just saw me six centimeters dilated. I mean, he's low. His, you head, might be his head is pushing down with the contractions. It's just by dilating, it's not working right. <laughs> no. Well, they need the contractions aren't hard enough to they get up that one stuff. That's what I tried to say. I said, well, you think maybe if we up the dose of the Pitocin? No. It's the most wonderful time of the year.